I wanted to take a couple of thoughts out of 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. <clears throat> Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Now this, obviously, he's talking to people that have been transformed. They've already been transformed. Now they're the sons of God. Now they're tasting of the powers of the world to come. Now their eyes are set towards another time when they're, when they're going to be glorified together with Christ. That's who he's talking to. He's not talking about the world here. He's talking about those who have been taken out of the world, have been made justified, are in the process of being purified, and they're on their way to being glorified. Amen. These are the ones. Now they're the sons of God. But you can't tell it by looking at them. You just can't look at it and say, well, I can, I can tell just by looking at you. You're one of God's, God's elect. No, see, this is not that, it's not that way yet. There's coming a time when it's going to be that way. There's not going to be anybody in the ages to come that's going to say, who are you, by the way? No. Amen. This is, this, see, now it doesn't yet appear. Uh -huh. But see, we know. There's something that we know. What, the, actually, the fact is, is that the fact that we know this is what's driving us to further perfection. See, this hope, every man that has this hope in him, purifies himself. I don't need an outside ordinance to constrain me. The love of Christ constrains me. The very fact that I'm in his image, I've been transformed by the Holy Spirit. The, the very fact that, that I'm longing for that day when I'm going to be clothed on with my house from heaven. See, this, this constrains me. It's just like, I don't want to be involved in lesser things anymore. I have to, to some degree. I've got to get up and go to work. There's coming a day when my work's going to be a lot higher than it is right now. It's going to be a lot higher. See, if you've been faithful over a few things, we're on our way to a place where he's going to make you ruler over many things. Now, see, we've come to the assembly not by accident. This isn't something that we've done just because it's just something we do. It's, it, we're, we've come together to be perfected, to be, so, so, so that I can be strengthened by you and you can be strengthened by me. Amen. See, we're, iron is sharpening iron. We're becoming more perfect, more perfectly molded into the image of Christ, not by accident. I want to emphasize that. It's not by accident. It's because we know that, see, we're making our calling and election sure. These things are safe for us, aren't they? Come together with saints of like precious faith, it's safe. And this is actually this is one of the only places in my whole week that I can come and kind of let your guard down just a little bit, soak up all this. We have great advantages here. Amen. Great advantages. Amen. Come together. <clears throat> actually, as you contemplate the coming of the Lord, you, you Part of it is this is the answer to our dilemma. See, right now, we're like a cake half-baked. There's a part of us that's been redeemed. It really has been redeemed. Now you are the sons of God. But there's a part of us that's not. There's a part of us that's of the earth, earthy. It cleaves to the dust. Some days it's going to return back to the dust. See, it's appointed on the man wants to die. But after this, the judgment, we're looking forward to something that, that naturally we wouldn't be looking forward to. Try to talk about, tell people I'm looking forward to dying. They think you're nuts. Okay, but in the flesh you would be because, see, that's the end of flesh. Uh -huh. There's the end of it. But we're not looking for an end like that. <laughs> we're looking, when we see him, we've already tasted of this now. We all know this. We've all been transformed to some degree because we've seen him. But now it's like a glass, we're looking through a glass dimly. We don't see the whole thing. We don't see the completeness. But when we see him face to face, the rest of the work will be done. We'll be transformed. <laughs> we'll get our body. We'll have a body like unto his glorious body. Now this hope, see, this, 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 our anticipation for this event happening 
is actually what gets the work done. That's how hope is saving you. I, I was constrained by this. Me and Brother Aaron talked a little bit about this. But see, this is um, just talking about it. Yesterday at the birthday party, the sanctified the whole thing. We started talking about truth. And before I left there, I wanted to go to heaven more. I wanted to go home more. What happened? We started talking about heavenly things. I was constrained. I didn't have to have anybody tell me, go home and you read the Bible. I, I, didn't, I was constrained. And it was, it was, I actually was constrained by Christ, but more perfectly through the brother. It was Christ in them that constrained me. Well, every man, we have this hope. What, what hope? What hope are we talking about? <clears throat> that we shall be like him. Oh, I don't have to be like me anymore. There's a part of me that I hate. Now, I, I'm just being honest with you. There's a part of me that I hate. I see it. I know it better than you all know it. I hate it. I'm looking. I'm longing for the day when that part is separated from me. It's no longer will I be identified. See, now it's in the spirit. I'm not identified with it anymore. I can say, it is not I. Soon it's going to be made manifest that really wasn't me at all. He, he's recreated me in his, his son's image, and I'm, that's the first fruit. I'm longing for the day when that's, the marriage is consummated, and I'll be with him forevermore. Now, see, this, this, this is the universal hope that we all long for. And we all come here today to polish that up, shine it up, hold it up to the bread, say, this is it. Do you see? You're on the right track. You're going in the right direction. And the end, oh, it's going to be a glorious day.